Urbanization is probably the single greatest driver in society today. And with cities offering so much more in terms of employment and lifestyle opportunities, it makes sense. Or does it? Kashini Governor has found that life beyond the city limits has its own attractions. So Michelle headed off to Limpopo to find out what's hot about Bella Bella. Less than 200 kilometers north of Josie, Michal found himself among the farmlands and bushveld of the Limpopo province. I'm in Bella Bella, a small town in the Limpopo province known for its hot springs. It's my first time here, so I'm really excited to explore. But I'm also meeting up with Kashini Gavinder, a young and up-and-coming individual who is making a mark on the world in the most inspiring ways. Kashini grew up in Bella Bella, and she entered the Miss Limpopo pageant while still completing her teaching studies. For this, she won the Miss Photogenic Sash and then made her screen debut in a locally produced supernatural thriller titled Fear of Hugh the Bargast. Okay, the people of Heathersage believe that Henry is still here and that he's manifesting himself as a Bargast. They say. This short format movie was nominated for a number of awards at the Cineplay Film Festival in New York City. But Michelle would not be meeting Kashini on the red carpet, but rather in the classroom, where she's a teacher at the local primary school. Okay, then. Kashini was wrapping up a lesson when Michelle arrived. Kashini is a passionate educator who thrives on the development of her pupils. And judging by the smiles coming out of the room, she's definitely one of the popular ones too. Bye-bye, class is out. Should I say ma'am? Ms. Governor is fine. Well, Ms. Governor, welcome to Mel and it's great to meet you. Thank you for having me. Now, it is my first time in Bella Bella and I believe you've got some exciting stuff planned for us. I have an adventureful day planned for you, so shall we get started? I cannot wait. The weather's most certainly playing along. Definitely, but why don't we go get a nice cup of coffee and then I can tell you all that we have planned for this day. You had me at coffee. Great. The local geothermic springs have made the town a popular stopover for tourists traveling in the province, especially in the winter months. Kashini, you were originally born in Lanasia, and then at what age did you move up to Bella Bella? I was 13 years old, and my parents were looking for a very good high school. And when they looked at Bella Bella, they found Hoshkol Varambat and they were very happy with it. Well, what was your childhood like growing up here in Bella Bella? I feel that my childhood had gotten better as we moved here. I became that typical farm girl running around barefoot with my sister, uh, interacting with her pet cows that she actually adopted and just became another family pet. How would you best sum up Kashini? I'm very passionate about everything that I do. I'm very confident as well. I like to give everything that I have towards my work. And that led you to a bigger platform, which was the Miss Limpopo pageant. What was that experience like? I judged a pageant with the previous Miss Limpopo of 2014, and she had suggested that I enter the Miss Limpopo pageant. I sent in my headshots, got a call for an interview, aced the interview, and then made it into the top 10. By competing, how did you grow as an individual? Because I was studying at the time of the pageant, I had to balance exams with the pageant and working from Monday to Friday. So it was very hard. I learned a lot about myself. I learned how to manage myself in ways that I could have never imagined. Well, I know you have something else planned for us. What is it? Be prepared to learn a lot about horses today. Oh, awesome. This is what I love about my job. I get to try new things. Shall we get to it? As a competitive horse rider, Kashini has invited me along to the stables. She's just changing into her riding gear, so let's go see if she's ready. That is one majestic horse. <laughs> wow! What is his name? His name is Ulrich. For a second there, I thought you meant Michal. Oh, you wish. <laughs> Uh, you have such a love of animals, especially horses. At what age did you start horse riding? Well, it started in Indonesia, so when I was about 11 years old. And when we moved to Bella Bella, I started competing and that's when it became serious. I hope you're a great teacher because I'm not sure what sort of student I'm going to be. Okay, while I finish up grooming here, you can go and wait in the arena over there and I'm going to give you a horse riding lesson today.
As if sensing the visitor's apprehension, the other horses looked on placidly, while Kashni gave a practical demonstration of basic horsemanship before going off to fetch Michal's mount. Is that majestic horse mine? His name is Storm. Hello, Storm. Hello. Oh, he's beautiful. Before we start, safety first. Always. We always mind our melons. <laughs> mind our melons. We always mount from the left side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him along the fence mm -hmm. and you can stand on here. Put and your left swing. foot in. And right leg over. Um, and can I hold him? Yeah, yeah, you can. Ah. There we go. And then you just put the other foot in. Is it in? Oh, it feels incredible. And I managed to get the foot in. That's great. Okay, so we're going to start off with a bit of a walk. Okay. So let's get going. All right. One of the basics of horse riding is the trough. Okay, so you can go up and down so long while we are walking. Up, down, up, down. Okay. Show jumping is just one of Garshini's many interests. And in addition to appearing as a model, she has also started her own fashion blog, presenting her personal take on contemporary style. So many wardrobe changes. Now I have been having so much fun. You've definitely been treating me. What's next? Well, this area is famous for its wildlife. So it's time for a safari. Safari? I'm definitely game for that. So let's get going. The Limpopo province offers large tracts of unspoiled bush and game lodges are another popular local attraction. Kashini, this place is fit for royalty. I know, right? <laughs> well, my lady, off to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this is a very cool chariot. I know, right? It's amazing. The high vantage point was perfect for game spotting and the Rowan antelope were quite happy to carry on grazing, which offered teacher Kashini an opportunity to oh, sharpen okay. her pupils' game identification skills. Moving from grasslands closer to the trees, they came across an interesting family group. This is a herd of wildebeest. It's quite popular. This is the golden wildebeest. It's just the color variant because of the recessive gene. It's not that popular because they, they, it's breeding, it's exotic game. Oh, exotic indeed, it looks beautiful. The wildebeest paraded for a final photo op and it was time to head for home. A truly African sunset, this is incredible. Bella Bella, what does it mean? Oh, Bella Bella in Swana means the pot that boils, or you can say Bella Bella means boiling, boiling, which is very accurate considering that temperatures reach the high 40s here in summer. Boiling, boiling is also accurate because you have such a hot future ahead. Kashini, thank you so much for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, thank you for having me. And unfortunately, this is where the adventure ends. Just two hours away from Johannesburg, Bella Bella has been a true travel experience.